The Philippines is recognized as one of the most disaster-prone countries on Earth. Every year, its people face a daunting array of natural hazards. Powerful typhoons, torrential rains, frequent earthquakes, and volcanic eruptions. Positioned along the Pacific Ring of Fire and within the typhoon belt, the nation's geography exposes it to a rare combination of risks. These ongoing challenges shape daily life and national priorities, demanding resilience and constant preparedness from communities across the archipelago. Unlike other countries that typically contend with only one or two types of major natural hazards, the Philippines faces nearly all of them at once. While Japan and Indonesia experience earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, and the United States deals with hurricanes and tornadoes, the Philippines is uniquely exposed to the combined threats of seismic activity, volcanic eruptions, and frequent powerful typhoons. This convergence of risks requires a level of disaster readiness and infrastructure resilience that few other nations must maintain. What makes the Philippines especially vulnerable is the interplay of its geography, geology, climate, and human factors. Its position along the Pacific Ring of Fire brings frequent earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, while its location in the Western Pacific places it directly in the path of many typhoons each year. Coastal and low-lying areas are particularly at risk from flooding and storm surges. Rapid urbanization and population growth often force communities into hazard-prone zones, intensifying the impact of disasters and complicating recovery efforts. The country's unique geographic position is central to its exposure to natural disasters. Nestled between the Pacific Ocean and the South China Sea, and straddling the Pacific Ring of Fire, the Philippines is constantly influenced by disaster-producing systems. Its vast coastline makes it susceptible to storm surges and tsunamis, while its proximity to tectonic boundaries results in frequent seismic and volcanic activity. This combination of factors means that natural hazards are a persistent reality for communities throughout the archipelago. At the heart of the Philippines' seismic and volcanic risks is its location along the Pacific Ring of Fire. Here, the Philippine Sea Plate and the Eurasian Plate interact, creating faults and subduction zones beneath the islands. These geological processes not only lead to frequent earthquakes and active volcanoes, but also elevate the risk of tsunamis. The ever-shifting tectonic landscape shapes both the physical environment and the daily experiences of those living in the Philippines. Earthquakes in the Philippines are a direct result of the intense tectonic activity beneath the archipelago. Major fault lines, such as the West Valley Fault, are capable of producing powerful quakes that threaten densely populated areas. The unpredictable nature of seismic events makes ongoing monitoring and community preparedness essential, as even a single major earthquake can have far-reaching consequences for infrastructure and safety. The country's 24 active volcanoes each pose unique hazards, with eruptions that can dramatically alter landscapes and disrupt lives. These volcanoes periodically release ash, lava, and gases, impacting air quality and threatening nearby communities with dangers such as pyroclastic flows, ashfall, and mudslides. Continuous scientific monitoring and robust emergency preparedness are vital for reducing the risks associated with volcanic activity. Surrounding the Philippines are deep ocean trenches and subduction zones, which significantly heighten the risk of tsunamis. When powerful underwater earthquakes occur along features like the Philippine Trench or the Manila Trench, they can generate massive waves that reach coastal areas with little warning. The intricate network of tectonic boundaries around the islands underscores the importance of vigilant monitoring and swift response systems to protect vulnerable communities. Beyond geological threats, the Philippines is also at the center of Typhoon Alley, making it highly susceptible to frequent and intense tropical storms. Warm ocean waters and favorable atmospheric conditions create an environment where typhoons can rapidly develop and often track directly over the islands. On average, the country faces about 20 typhoons each year, many of which bring destructive winds and heavy rainfall. This persistent weather threat is a defining feature of life in the Philippines. In recent years, super typhoons have become more intense and destructive, posing escalating dangers to coastal and inland communities. Typhoon Haiyan in 2013 stands as a stark example, with winds exceeding 190 miles per hour and catastrophic impacts across the central Philippines. 
The increasing frequency and severity of such storms are closely linked to rising ocean temperatures, emphasizing the urgent need for stronger disaster preparedness and climate resilience measures. As the climate continues to change, the Philippines faces even greater challenges. Warmer ocean waters fuel more powerful typhoons, while shifting weather patterns make storm tracks less predictable. These changes not only increase the destructive potential of storms, but also reduce the time communities have to prepare. The growing connection between climate change and the intensification of typhoons highlights the importance of adapting strategies to meet these evolving threats. Major natural disasters often trigger a series of secondary hazards that can be just as devastating as the initial event. Earthquakes may destabilize slopes, causing landslides, while typhoon-induced rains can lead to widespread flooding. In volcanic regions, heavy rainfall can mix with ash to create lahars, fast-moving mudflows that sweep through valleys. Storm surges driven by typhoons inundate coastal areas, compounding destruction. These cascading effects complicate rescue and recovery, making disaster management even more challenging. Landslides and flooding are particularly destructive secondary hazards, often intensified by steep terrain and unstable soil. Heavy rainfall saturates the ground, increasing the risk of slope failures and water accumulation. Urban expansion into vulnerable areas, combined with inadequate infrastructure and drainage, can worsen the impact of these events. Effective risk reduction requires careful planning and a thorough understanding of how environmental and human factors interact. Lahars and storm surges present unique dangers to communities near volcanoes and along coastlines. Lahars, formed when volcanic ash mixes with water, can travel rapidly and destroy everything in their path. Storm surges, caused by intense storms, lead to severe coastal flooding and threaten lives and property. Both hazards highlight the need for targeted preparedness and resilient infrastructure in high-risk areas. The impact of natural disasters in the Philippines is intensified by several human factors. High population density means more people are exposed to hazards, while poverty limits access to resources for preparation and recovery. Inadequate infrastructure, such as poorly built homes and roads, increases vulnerability. Deforestation removes natural barriers against floods and landslides and unregulated coastal development puts more people at risk from storms and rising seas. These conditions combine to amplify the consequences of natural hazards. The economic toll of disasters in the Philippines is staggering. Each year, billions of pesos are lost as infrastructure is destroyed, crops are wiped out, and businesses are disrupted. Funds that could support education, healthcare, or development are instead diverted to recovery and rebuilding. This cycle of destruction and recovery slows national progress and keeps many communities trapped in vulnerability as resources are continually spent on responding to the latest disaster. When comparing the Philippines to other disaster-prone countries, several differences become clear. Japan, for example, faces similar natural hazards but benefits from greater wealth, advanced infrastructure, and more effective disaster preparedness. Indonesia and Vietnam also contend with earthquakes and typhoons, but their geographic positions and population distributions offer some protection. The Philippines, however, faces the combined challenges of its location, economic constraints, and high population density, making it uniquely susceptible to overlapping disasters. Climate change is now amplifying the risks the Philippines faces. Rising sea levels threaten to inundate coastal communities while warmer oceans fuel stronger typhoons. Changes in rainfall patterns bring both more intense floods and longer droughts, affecting agriculture and water supply. Scientists warn that these trends will continue, increasing the urgency for adaptation and resilience planning across the country. Despite these daunting challenges, there are ways to reduce vulnerability and build resilience. Strengthening building codes, investing in disaster-resistant infrastructure, and enforcing land use regulations can help protect communities. Improved early warning systems and disaster education empower people to respond effectively when hazards strike. Economic development and poverty reduction also play crucial roles, enabling families to recover more quickly and build safer homes. Adapting to climate change through innovative solutions, such as seawalls and drought-resistant crops, is essential for the future.
Understanding why the Philippines is so vulnerable to natural disasters is the first step toward making meaningful change. The country's position at the intersection of the Pacific Ring of Fire and Typhoon Alley, combined with its archipelagic geography and socioeconomic challenges, creates a perfect storm of risk factors. However, by learning from these realities and investing in preparedness, the nation can reduce the impact of disasters and strengthen its resilience. While the Philippines cannot change its location or eliminate natural hazards, it can shape how it responds to them. Building safer communities, improving infrastructure, and fostering a culture of preparedness are all within reach. The difference between disaster and catastrophe often lies in the choices made before and after an event. With determination and collective effort, the nation can transform vulnerability into resilience. The Philippines will always face natural disasters due to its geography and geology, but the scale of their impact is not predetermined. Through proactive planning, education, and investment in resilience, the country can ensure that disasters do not always lead to tragedy. The ability to recover, rebuild, and adapt is a testament to the enduring spirit of the Filipino people. Ultimately, the story of the Philippines is not just one of vulnerability, but also of survival and adaptation. Despite facing some of the world's most challenging natural hazards, Filipinos continue to rebuild, endure, and innovate. This resilience is not only a response to geography, but a defining characteristic of the nation itself. By understanding the unique risks the Philippines faces and taking steps to address them, communities can become safer and more resilient. The journey toward disaster resilience is ongoing, but with knowledge, preparation, and unity, the nation can continue to thrive despite the challenges of its environment.